Apple from Blessed.store. Okay, so a few people have had issues installing the Blessed CMS, the community edition, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, if you go to Blessed.store's website, you can click on the Blessed CMS Freebase. It now links to the GitHub, which is bug free at the moment, anyway. So if you click it and download it, it will then download the zip. We're going to show and find it. I'm going to move up to the desktop. That's that done. Let's close that again. Okay, so you go to your file manager, which I'm using Direct Admin. So we'll close that tab there and go to here. So this is Direct Admin. So we're going to go to the file manager because FTP, it is easier, but it's a pain because you're uploading all the files one by one, one by one and it just takes forever. So we go to file manager. This is the new one from direct admin. I'm not a big fan of it, mainly because it's weird. Make sure you go to the blester root. So my blester is installed in blester in the public HTML. Go to the plugins. So we go to plugins. I'm going to delete this because I'm going to do it properly. So what we're going to do is click new folder, call it blaster underscore CMS because that's the name of the plugin. So if you go into the file, click new and upload. Find the zip. It's this one. It's called blaster CMS dash community dash edition dash master, and you upload it. And there you go, done. So click on this little button, click on the three dots, and click extract. Obviously, it's not very informative, um, but it is easy because you can just click on remove now and it deletes the zip. Okay, double click on to that one, you're going to here. We want to move all of these again, not really easy structured out, but you click on that, click on the little thing, it will tick all the boxes and then click move go to the best CMS folder which is blessed underscore CMS make sure it's overwritten and click move and it's all moved it so now we can delete that folder because we don't want the folder sweet so we're all good delete these two files if you've already read them or you don't want them and you could probably change get rid of that one as well anyway that's everything sorted. You don't need to touch anything else now. All you need to go is to your blaster. If you go to settings and go to plugins under company and then go to available, you'll see the blessed CMS. This is this one here. Click on install. It does it all automatically for you. And we're done. If you go to your portal, you will now will see the CMS one. Now, a few people, I don't know what they're having issues with, but they're saying it doesn't work sometimes. But I think it works fine. So we put test, it's going to be linked to test. You can put a description, you can put content here. So we'll put a H1, we'll close the H1, which is header one. And we'll put test. <laughs> Can't spell. English is my first language I can't spell. This is a test. Save. I'm not doing any meta tags because I'm not going to use them in this demo. So if you go back to here, obviously this is the page. If you put in test, you'll go to test. You've got your header and you've got your paragraph. Simple. A few people have had, had, have had issues with the menu but the menu is all dependent on the skin the theme everyone has their own custom thing unless you're using the blaster nav so if you're using the blaster nav all you need to do is edit the code so what we do is we'll go to the documentation which is cms.blaster.how this takes you to this page we want the blaster navigation so this is if you want to hide it, so that's not it. We want the CMS blessed enough, which again, it says it integrates the CMS menu into the blessed navigation. So all you have to do is copy and paste. 
or just click a button, which is copy. So obviously we need the nav. So if you go into your theme, so we want to do the file manager, we'll go out of here, we'll go, that is so horrible. Anyway, app, we want to go into the app, we want to go into the views, we want to go into the client, we want to go into the bootstrap or your custom theme. If you have your own custom theme, it's recommended to have its own folder. And we're going to this one because this is the only one we've got. Okay, we then go down to the structure because the structure is where everything is in. So we want to go and click edit. And you load up this page. This is the editing. We're going to call this into PHP. So we click on that, it changed all nice and nicely typed. Except for um, I can't see the other side of that page. Um, is there a way that we can no okay uh, okay well that sort of helps I can see the PHP again that will do anyway we want to find a blessed navigation which is this thing here so I believe if we can go straight down we should see the line saying well it is no it doesn't okay so the other way you can find out if it doesn't have the highlighting is we've got a nav and two divs. So if you go to the bottom, you'll see that there's a nav and two divs. So we're going to paste over that like so. I don't know what all those um, red things are highlighted for. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, we're going to need to add the bless the CMS into your code. So at the top, we'll go back to the CMS documentation. We want to integrate it, which is just these lines. The reason is this loads the modules, so it loads the bless the CMS pages, because that's the module with all the functions to the bless the CMS. The menu items is using the module CMS pages to get the menu items with the child. It's then got the lang, which is coming from the same module, which is get the current language. Okay, you've also got the default language, which is getting from the same module all the languages with the, the current language, so the de default one, which is set to EN. So it will match both of these together. If it's EN, EN, it will do. Anyway, nothing to do about that. That's too techy for me. Anyway, go back to the dashboard, which is this one. Come on, load up. Come on, Opera. Be good. So we want to paste these codes below the blaster ones. So we're going to paste them in here. Okie dokie. That looks a bit untidy. Tidy this up a little bit. If you hold FN for function on Mac, it looks tidy. And then we're going to tap tab them if you click the tab button. It's like the arrow with a line. And it makes it nice and neat. And we're going to make that neater. So that should load everything up. If we save it and it's done, we'll go back to our website, test it, and it should stay the same because we haven't added a menu. Go to CMS, click on menu items, we click on an option, and we're going to call this test. And we're going to link it to the test page, because why not? Okay, we're going to submit that, it adds it. We're then going to add another tab. Let's call this amazing, and we're going to put a hash, and we're going to make it still the parent click on that we're going to go to blaster so we're going to put blaster in here we're going to put https blaster.com can't spell it and we're going to put target to a new tab because we want it to open a new window it's going to be a child item under the amazing parent and we're going to save it. 
So this is going to be under the amazing drop down and test will be on its own. Now if we go back to the menu and we've got test which takes us to test. If we click home it takes us to home. Click to test it takes us to test. Brilliant. Under amazing we've got the blaster which opens a new tab. Pretty easy I think. Um, yeah I think it's amazing but I don't know and if you're fed up with the CMS all you have to do is edit your theme or sugar one one I'll have to change that password in a minute <laughs> we'll go back to the structure we're gonna edit this we're gonna oh you can edit in a new tab as well that's interesting does that open up its own window anyway delete these because we don't want Oh, is it? Why is it not working for me? Let me edit. Okay, there we go. So we'll delete these lines. If we scroll down to where we had the menu, which is this is the blaster navigation. As you see, it's got the blaster drop down, and then this bit is the CMS one. So delete the top bit. We've got two bits. We'll get rid of the IR. And get rid of those two. And I believe we want to get rid of that one. Hmm. Yeah, that one is that one there. So we don't want that one. And that should be all blasters. Anyway, we'll save that. This is me just ch chancing this now. This probably won't work now, me. Right, we'll go to settings. Go to plugins. We're going to click uninstall. And it's gone. And then we'll go back to here. Go to blaster and it should work. And it's back to itself. Easy peasy. But that's how you use the Blaster CMS. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's helpful. And yeah, thank you for watching. Enjoy Blaster and stay Blaster.